What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to eh, do a lot of stuff, go to Route 20, 21, I think, and get to the Cinnabar Island, and on top of that, we revived both our fossils and an evolved one, and now it is finally time for us to go into the Pokemon Mansion now. Before we do that, let's go right ahead and change up our clothes. It's only fitting if we do this. Let's go ahead and change up the whole clothes with, not the, no, well, not that one. Hold on, hold on. Uh, the assistance hat. There we go. We're gonna be dressing up as assistance mainly because, hold on, mainly because we're gonna be going into the Pokemon Mansion, and this is the location to where you actually start hearing the secrets of Mewtwo and Mew. And well, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, this is gonna be me right here. So let's go with an assistance cap right there. The outerwear, we're going to put the assistant's top on. Look at that. Pants, yes, we're changing outside. We don't care. We are comfortable with our bodies. And look at that. All white. Going into this whole thing right here. They get the bag. And we are ready to go. Looking fit, looking right, looking good. We look good, we play good, guys. So here it is, the Pokemon Mansion in all its glory. Of course, as you can see, it is like really, it's run down. It is run down. So, in this place right here, you're going to be finding a lot of interesting Pokemon. Fire types, Grimers, and all that stuff. I think I need to capture one of these Grimers in order to get that Alolan Grimer, which I'll do a little bit later. But as you can see, there are different places into this area right here that you'll, able, you'll be able to find statues and stuff. And I'm going to grab this Max Repel because, of course, there's going to be a lot of Pokemon around this area. And, let's see, nothing... Nothing. Okay, I'm trying to read the books right here because there's a little story behind this place. And that is that this place is the birthplace to Mew and Mewtwo. And, well, I'm just trying to locate this this whole thing. Uh, let's see. Not that. Nope. But we do find a Pokeball under the desk right here. And look at that. We found ourselves a Max Lure. And, well, let's move on right here get to the gun right here we're gonna actually try and go into this section right here so you gotta turn on that little uh, that little machine right there as you can see it's blinking and if you press it who wouldn't you heard something moving now I do not know why they kept on saying who wouldn't push the button I don't know it's just a, a weird thing and wow that guy just pops out of nowhere so there it is, we found ourselves in a Max Elixir, and uh, well, there's nothing right here. There's going to be some Pokemon right here that you're just going to be involved with, and, uh, well, I do not want to capture these guys. They'll pop up every so often, that it's just, it's stupid, it's ridiculous. And, well, let's see, we're going to go right here. Now, one good thing about this game is that they finally acknowledged that Mr. Fuji is a Dr. Fuji. In this game right here, he is the one, the founder of the whole Pokemon lab. And, well, we're going to be finding this guy right here. We're going to be finding a robber. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Now, we're back with our regular team, so we need a little bit of loving from all of these guys. Since now, let's see. Yeah, we're going to definitely be battling these guys. I can't get out. This old maze, or this old place is one big puzzle. Kind of looks like the Pokemon Silver and Gold character. Like, he, he went into bad times. Look at that. He kind of looks like him. And, well, let's go straight to our good old buddy, Leonardo. It's been a while, buddy. Let's go right ahead and use our Surf Attack. Now, off screen, I did teach it uh, Ice Beam just in case. And Leonardo doesn't take that crap. So here we go Surf Attack. Doing its, uh, doing its thing right here. Look at that. Rabdash. No more. Okay, alrighty. So we're kicking butt. And look at that. Leonardo finally grows to level 53 right here. And, well, look at that. Okay, and then, uh, let's see. Arnie has been defeated. And, uh, well, we're going to be moving on right here. So, let's see. There are going to be lots of Grimer into this area right here, guys. So if you want to capture a Grimer to trade it to, uh, for an Alolan Grimer, this is the best place to do it. And, well, before we go into that room, we're going to be going right here. And here we found ourselves three Ultra Balls. Off screen, I did buy myself a few Max Repels. 
Not using them right now because I kind of want to capture, or I kind of want to see what Pokemon I can find here for capturing. And, well, you'll find a coach trainer right here. Nothing, uh, nothing too big. And then uh, you'll find book uh, booklets around here. So let's read this one right here. Diary, July 5th. We discovered a new Pokemon in the deep jungle. Huh. Again, it's going to talk about one specific Pokemon. And as you can see, we're going to find ourselves uh, Rattata's Raticades. And so I'm going to just try and capture these guys. Get some experience points while I'm at it. Because we still need to actually battle Blaine for our 7th badge. And then we got our 8th badge going on right there too. So there it is. We caught ourselves a pretty strong Rattata. And everybody gets experience points. Again, off screen, before we go to the Pokemon League, I am going to start capturing a buttload of Pokemon, filling up this Pokedex. And we found ourselves a Max Revive. Now, speaking of the Pokedex, uh, let's see. The Pokedex right here, I have 103 Pokemon and 100 and, or 42 up, uh, have, have been seen. Of course, I've captured a, or I've gotten a Vulpix from Pokemon Go. I need to evolve it into Ninetales, Jigglypuff as well into Wigglytuff, and Gloom into Vileplume. So there's a, it's just a few Pokemon that, you know, I have yet to use a stone for. The one Pokemon I kind of want to get is Meowth, which, well, I'll get later. And other Pokemon such as, you know, Machamp and, uh, I believe Golem, I think I have. I have to get in trade, so that right there, it, it's not going to be that hard to get, it's just... It's a little word that we had to put into, and let's see, is there anything else? We caught most of the legendary Pokemon. We need Moltres on this one, and then we got Mewtwo right here. Believe it or not, there is a 150 second Pokemon, and would you look at that? He obviously pops up. We are looking at Magmar right here, the butthead of the whole place. Almost got him. Oh, damn. Damn you, Magmar! Is it because I called you a butthead? Because you kind of are a butthead. There we go. And yes, there it is, guys. We cut ourselves. We cut ourselves a Magmar that quickly. Alrighty. And our Pokemon are growing levels, so that's good. What a good way to grow Pokemon. Just capture Pokemon right here. So here we go. 104 Pokemon right here into the Pokedex. The Spitfire Pokemon, born in active volcano, its body is always cloaked in flames, so it looks like a big ball of fire. It's a pretty big Pokemon right here, so we're just going to be moving on right now. And I believe in Pokemon Red and Blue, I think they're exclusive to either one of these uh, versions. Whoa, nearly caught up to, near, nearly got caught up with that guy. So let's see, there's a statue right here somewhere. Uh, there it is, okay, so let's grab this guy. And there we go. So now we have uh, other sections opening up. So we need to we need to see what, what what else is offered into this place right here. Here we have a PP up. And let's see. Grab this book. July 10th. We christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Would you would you look at that? They're talking about you, Mew. You know my good old buddy Mew that I captured a few or didn't capture but got him in uh, in that Pokeball thing. So let's see, there's nothing right there. I think this room right here up top is closed. Yeah, it is. And, well, let's go right ahead and just avoid these Pokemon right here. And here we have another item that we can use. And that is an escape rope. So now, we just gotta get the heck out of here. Actually battle that uh, that coach trainer. Actually, where does this lead to? Lead to? Let's see. Ah, this room right here. You can't really do much. And, well, let's see. Should be an item here somewhere. Okay, so we found ourselves a Mighty Candy. And, let's see. This guy is going to look at us all funny. Again, this guy looks like the Gold Silver Crystal guy. Like, he, he's fallen on bad time, so now he has to rob. Comment down below if you guys agree. Because I kind of agree. <laughs> So here we go, Burglar Simon wants the battle, and, well, let's get this, going with Leonardo, this is his home place right here, this is his area of expertise, of battling everybody that he's got, and they're all fire type Pokemon, so let's go ahead and use that Surf, and, wow, this guy, 
Wow, he, he's a little bit faster than our Pokemon, but guess what? Leonardo right here. Surfing away. There we go. Okay, alrighty. So, that right there... That right there helps us out. And we're just going to keep on going with the same Pokemon right now. And he's coming out with a Grimer, so... Let's go ahead and use our newest move, Ice Beam. And here we go. That right there does not freeze him, but he just... he Well, it makes him go with a Screech and all that crud, so... Alrighty. Another defense down. And, well, we got the Dig Attack, so I might as well not get hurt. Digging it. That's right. And, well, let's go right ahead and use that Dig Attack right there. And there goes Muck. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. So, everybody's getting experience points. Simon has been defeated. Again, looks like the guy from Silver and Gold. Alright, and, well... Let's grab this before we get attacked by any Pokemon, and we got ourselves an extra rare candy right here. And let's see what this is. February 6th, we obtained a new Pokemon from Mew. We have named its new Pokemon Mewtwo. Really? So they're talking about new Pokemon. What kind of new Pokemon are we talking about here? And where is this Mewtwo that we can find? And good god, these guys are everywhere. Let's press this button right here. And, well, let's go ahead and continue our adventure. There is a coach trainer that is waiting for us, so... I guess if we use the same Pokemon, we can battle it. Oh dear! I thought you were a burglar, but you're a kid trainer. Well, do you want to have some fun with the coach trainer? Yes, I do. Alrighty, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle, and it's uh, coach trainer Rita wanting to battle. And here she comes out with a Graveler. Alright, so I uh, made the right choice right here by not switching out. And let's see. Let's go with a Surf Attack right here. Okay, Surf Attack. Can it do it? Will it do it? And it does. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. My Pokemon team, awesome. Great. Gravy, and he's co she's coming out with a Dugtria, so I'm just going to continue right here with uh, good old Leonardo, or yeah, Leonardo right here. So let's go again, Surf Attack, and Crud. Is this Earthquake? Okay, I don't even know if that was Earthquake or anything like that, so there we go, Surf Attack takes care of that. And well, there goes another Pokemon. Another one bites the dust, right? And here she comes out with a Poliwrath. So, I'm going to go straight to Mew de Uno. I'm going to show the Pokemon that, you know, has been talked about all around here. So, let's go. Mew de Uno. Alrighty, Poliwrath. What you got? What you got? He's looking all buff and everything, but too bad it is weak against Psychic-type Pokemon right here. And this Psychic-type Pokemon is no pushover. It's one of the strongest, and... Uh, it missed, so let's go right ahead and do it again. Fly or psychic attack for the win. And there goes. That's right, there goes Polyrath. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Rita has been defeated. Okay, so what is it that you're gonna give to us? We got ourselves the TM22 Rock Slide, a very good move that we probably need. And if you're adult, yeah, you can hit two, uh, your opponents in the double battle, the two and one. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on forward right here. I think we've already been up there, right? Could be wrong. I don't know. No, this is a new section right here. So, let's go ahead and try and find the secrets of Mew and Mewtwo. Let's go ahead and grab this item here, too. And look at that. We got ourselves the full heal. And... There is a Pokemon. Grab this little item, and we found ourselves a TM21 Foul Play. And, let's see, anything else? Nothing. Okay, so there's just a bunch of Grimer just waiting for us to, to capture them. I think it's a calling card. Yo, you need an Alolan uh, Grimer. Please capture us. Okay, so those slid, and there is a Scientist waiting for us right here. So, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Alrighty, so here we go. Scientist Brayden wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Weedle or Weezing. 
Got a coming out with his Weedle or Weezing. Got a right Pokemon for this one. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and use. Yeah, let's go with Surf. Surf Attack's always uh, done as well, right? Probably. I don't know. And. Oh, wow. Weezing. The hell? And a Sludge Bomb hits us pretty hard. We are now poisoned. Okay. Okay, that is not cool right there, but guess what? We are going to be using our good old Surf Attack one more time. Let's go. Come on, Surf Attack. There it is. Surf Attack does it for the win. Alrighty. Okay, and of course, we're going to get hurt by Poison just a little bit right here. So we're going to have to try and switch out right now. And he's coming out with a Magneton, so perfect. I'm going to be switching to Dragonite. If I remember correctly, I yeah, I did teach a Flamethrower, so it won't be a big issue right here. And here we go. Dragonite looking all mean and everything. And, well, this Magneton has no chance. Let's go, Flamethrower. Oh, yes. And there goes Magneton. Feeling great about this one right here. Look at that. Look at that, okay, alrighty. And, well, he's about to come out with a Magmar right here, so let's go right ahead and go with Smasher. It's been a while since I've actually played you guys. It really has. Alrighty, okay. There we go. Still going after it. Let's get it. Let's go for a drill run. And look at that. Magnemite or Magna Magmar just gets rocked right there. And well, more experience points for all of us, and we defeated Brayden. We feel good about what we just did. And well. Let's see. Let's see. Well, there's a Radita rate waiting to just get us right here. And Let's go ahead and grab some more items. Now, we do need to heal up our Pokemon right here, so I cannot forget about that. Luckily for us, I did buy quite a few healing items off screen. That way, you know, I don't have to struggle with this. So let's see. Uh, we got a full heal. And that heals its poisoning. It's not going to drain it away. And we did... What the hell? I thought I, thought I bought a bunch of potions. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I bought some potions. Never mind. Okay. So, let's go with the Hyper Potion right here. And just get on our way right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. And just like that, another Magmar just pops up out of nowhere. And, yes, yeah, so we're going to try and capture this guy. And then sell the, sell the next one to the highest bidder, I think. I don't know. Send it to the Professor. And it does not go away. So, let's see. Oh, wow. And there it is. It's a great one. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, damn it. Okay, so this guy is not... Yeah, this guy is not going to come down easily. So let's go ahead and use a Nana Berry right here. And there we go. Another great capture. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Damn it. Yeah, this, this Pokemon is a little tough to catch. But look at that. An excellent rating. There we go, there we go, there we go, stay in there, and there we go, we got him. Got him, okay, so Magmar is not that hard to capture. We got a few candies out of it, and most of our Pokemon are gaining levels, so this is good. Good, good news right here, and going into our Pokeball, or Pokebox and stuff. So let's see, uh, we can go downstairs right here, or we could go right here, and uh, there's some stairs that we actually need to get to so let's go down here see what we can actually find uh oh wow okay screw it it's it's it, it's been a something in the making so we got to capture this guy and it is tiny wow didn't mean to capture like that there it is great two three and there we go Alrighty, so we cut ourselves our good old buddy. We got a few peanut berries right here. And Pikachu grows to level 63 right now. And, well, let's see. 
Oh wow, we never got it in the Pokédex, so as you can see, made of congealed sludge, it smells so putrid to the touch, even weeds don't grow in its path. Huh, that kind of sucks. Alrighty, so, let's see, this guy still sees us, it's freaking annoying. And, well, he's like, you're gonna help me get stronger! Not really. Alrighty, okay, let's go. Ace Trainer Lewis wants the battle, and yes, he's coming out with his D D Kingler. Now, I believe in this game, you, you actually get more Kinglers than anything. Like, they, they're actually using a lot of the evolved forms, which I'm pretty happy about. Makes it a little bit more fun, a little more challenging. And look at that. Kingler does his slam attack. Alright, let's go with a dig attack right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's go, let's go, let's do this. Alrighty. Try and attack me. None. Nothing. And here we go. Dig attack. Nearly takes out Kingler. And here comes another slam attack right here. And that right there is my calling card. I need to switch out my Pokemon. So let's go with Sparky right here. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And here we are switching out our Pokemon. In our science lab and or science, uh, what you gonna call it? Uh, our science lab uh, clothes. And here we go, Thunderbolt. There we go. Okay, alrighty. So taking care of that, and Leonardo grows to level 54, and it wants to learn uh, Headbutt. Huh. Would you look at that? Well, I already have Headbutt as a move, so I will not teach you Headbutt right now, just because. And, well, let's see, I'm just gonna try and take this away right here, so keep the old moves. And, well, Primeape is gonna be coming out, so I'm gonna switch it out right here. Let's go with Mew de Uno. And, uh, well, there we go, Sparky's coming back. Let's go Mew de Uno. And, well, let's go right ahead and use this right here. Psychic attack. Let's finish this guy off. And there you go. Primeape has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. And we defeated Tra Ace Trainer Lewis right here. And so, we're just going to have to be moving on forward right here. So let's go straight for that Pokeball. And we find ourselves a Hyper Potion, which is great. So now, we just need to get to the other section right here. I believe there was some stairs waiting for us, so... That is probably the last thing we need to get to. So, let's see. Come on. Please let it be the last section. I think it's the last section. I don't know. Probably. Nope, not the last section. Second to last section. And here we have five Silver Raspberries. I believe we use only one against, uh, what's his face? against Articuno, so we're going to be moving our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Sandslash. I haven't used that guy in quite some time, so let's see. This guy's looking at us all funny. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Eh, well, just me. Only me. So, let's see what's going on. Scientist Ted wants the battle coming with his Electrode. Alrighty. And here we go. Now, Sandslash right here is not a ground-type Pokemon, but it can learn ground-type moves right here. And here comes its Thunderbolt. Of course, it will be effective against my Sandslash now that it's both a, a Steel and Ice-type Pokemon. And, well, Electrode still faster than us. Getting this Dig Attack and say goodbye to Electrode. And, uh, well, there we go. Level 55 going into level 56. Alrighty, okay, so Mew de Uno grows a level 56. And he's gonna be coming out with a Muck, so I'm just gonna stay put right here. And, well, Muck. We did see one in this whole area right here, so there is a chance to actually find him and get him. And here we go. What the hell is Muck trying to do right here? Trying to do nothing. And there we go. Dig attack nearly beats this muck, and this guy is minimizing now. So it's gonna be a little hard. 
Okay, so let's see. What do we got? X scissors. Let's go with X scissors. I know that it's not much of a move, but guess what? X scissors does it. Alrighty. There we go. And Smash it grows to level 55, and he wants to learn superpower. Well, let's see. Superpower is a fighting type move. Let's go ahead and take away double kick now. Alrighty, so no more double kick, and here we have superpower. Wonder what it can do. Alrighty, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we defeated this guy. Wonder why their glasses always break when we beat them. It's funny. Alright, so let's see. There's a Pokeball right there. There is an exit right there. Here we found ourselves a Firestone. And, well, let's see. What else can we find around here? Nothing. Except for an exit. And a kid right here. Hey, do you know? If you step on that panel, you can go back to the entrance. This is true right here. But we can't be going back to the entrance just yet. And we almost got caught up right there with this uh, eradicate. So now we're going straight to the bottom floor. And here we are in the first part. And look at this. We found ourselves a ditto. Look at that. What are the odds that this guy pops up just right there and then? And this guy... It's going to be a little a little bit of a hassle to catch because it is a very rare Pokemon. As you can see, bam. And, well, let's see. Let's go with one Raspberry right here. And, and, wow. This guy is jumping all over the place. And there we go. Stay in the ball. Come on. Stay with me. Stay with me. There we go. So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves in a ditto, and I don't think... No, it's not a new Pokemon on our team, right? Is it? Nope, it's a new addition to the Pokedex. Look at that. Ditto, the transform Pokemon. When it spots an enemy, its body can transfigures into an almost perfect copy of its opponent. An almost. Okay, so that is that. I believe you can actually capture yourself like a blue ditto in here if you try hard enough. And look at that. There's another ditto. And, well, I'm going to try and capture this guy because it's huge. God dang it. This guy really doesn't want to get captured. So, there we go. God dang it. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I, trying my hardest, guys. Come on. There we go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. God dang it. Okay, so. Okay, so I don't know what's going on right here. Yeah, definitely not. No, hold on, hold on. The hell? Okay, so there we go. Stop moving, you asshole ditto. There we go. There we go, and there it is. We caught ourselves another ditto. So now we're in a bit of a combination right here. So if you guys continue capturing Pokemon like of the same type or same kind and all that stuff... The chances of getting per a perfect Pokemon increase, including that of trying to capture yourself a, si a shiny Pokemon. So that is that right there. And, well, let's read this entry right here. Diaries. Uh, September 1st, Pewtwo is far too strong. We have failed to curb its uh, vicious tendencies. Wow. That is scary right there. And here we found ourselves a TM-52 Sludge Bomb. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. It is a big ass muck. Yeah, I hate when they do that. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Stay in there. Come on. Stay in the ball. Come on. Oh, damn you. Yeah, this muck right here does not want to get captured, but look at this. A nice rating. And yeah, that was not. Yeah, he was not having it right there. So let's go again with another raspberry. And. God dang it. There we go, and it's a great. There we go, and good God. Okay, so that kind of feel like this muck is flipping us off a little, but there we go. Nice. Stay in there. Stay in there. Come on. There it is. Okay, so we captured ourselves our muck right here, and we got two health candies, and of course, Dragonite grows a little 58. We're feeling fine, and here is a new entry to the Pokédex. Smells so awful it can cause fainting. 
through generate degeneration of its nose, it lost a sense of smell. That explains that. And, well, let's go right ahead and use this, uh, touch this item right here. And there it is. It moved different locations right there. And we just saw a, a Grimer in its shrinking process. Now, here is another item, and there is another Ditto right there. And look at that. We found ourselves a Max Potion. And there is an item close by right here, and that is a Health Candy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here, because he's been itching for a fight. He's like wondering, where is he now? Okay, alrighty, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and take on Burglar Lewis now. Lewis and Lu what, what? Like, did we just battle a Lewis here? I kind of feel like we did. Alrighty, so here we go. Going up against a coughing right here. Sand Slash is a very, very effective attacker right here. So let's go ahead and slash this guy. It takes a lot of its HP. And, well, there is an explosion. And that doesn't really affect as much, but that right there... Yeah, that, 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 that right there is not cool. Alrighty, so let's see. Coming out with another coffin. I'm pretty sure this guy is, trying, is going to try and use an explosion every single time. So, let's go ahead and use an ice punch. Let's go right here. Ice punch. Freezes his Pokemon. Yep. And it thaws out and crud. There we go again with another explosion. They're trying to... Wow, they are trying desperately just to make me faint through explosion. Not cool, not cool. And let me guess, another explosion attack. So let's go right ahead and use another ice punch right here. Ice punch for the win. And of course, another explosion. Who'd, who'd have thought? Seriously, who would have thought this guy would have not used an explosion? I, wow. Never mind. Okay, so there we go. And, the, well, look at that. And, of course, he's going to be coming out with a, a wheezing. So it's going to be a bigger explosion, I guess. An even bigger explosion. So let's go right ahead and uh, use another Ice Punch. This guy's smiling because he's just exploding in his Pokemon. He's not really doing much. And, wow, speak of the devil, he doesn't use explosion. All right, let's go. Ice Punch again. Hopefully this time we can actually beat these guys. And there goes Weezing. Alrighty, look at that. And Lewis has been defeated right there. Good God. Use something else rather than explosion, bro. Okay, so we are moving forward right here. And I think we're close towards the end. And now you're going to be seeing another uh, scientist right here. So... I'm assuming he does have uh, Magnemite and Magneton, so I'm going to go with Dragonite here. Not going to see us. And, yes, we're going to be taking a rest to heal up our Pokemon. And, well, let's move on and battle this guy. This place isn't ideal for a lab. Took a uh, look uh, at all its base. It is an ideal lab. It is. It used to be a lab. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, uh, well, something bad happened in this whole area right here. I wish they could have just put this in this section right here. That way, you know, it would the story would have come uh, full circle. And well, we're taking on an Electabuzz right here, so let's go straight in for an Outrage. And look at that Outrage makes him faint. Alrighty, alrighty. He's looking as strong as a dragon, and he's like, "What was that for?" I mean, you challenged me, bro. Okay, so we are probably going to have to use that that statue right there in a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we found ourselves another rare candy. Chances are I might be using these rare candies on my team just so I can, you know, get them to level 60 quicker. Haven't thought about it just yet. So let's go ahead and press this button. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on to the next section and as you can see here is the section where the whole Mewtwo event happened I, and again I wish they would have like done something with that it looks like as if something has been beaten on it over and over inside and here we found ourselves a max elixir and now let's see if, uh, we can't walk in that stuff so as you can see you can 
this is the birthplace of Mewtwo and all that crud, and well, here we can actually find the secret key to the Cinnabar Island. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it right there, so... Luckily for us, we do have escape ropes. We have like six of those bastards, so it's not an issue. Look at that. And just like that, we get out of the Cinnabar Island uh, Pokemon Mansion. And we found ourselves a an antidote, which is always great. And, well, that completes our adventure right here, guys. Uh, in the next episode, we will be going for our seventh badge. It's been a long time coming, and uh, after that, hopefully we can get our 8th badge right there within the next episode, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.